Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure and I'm going to try a little metal detecting today. It's supposed to rain, so I only get like a couple of hours at best. So just to get the swing in again, I'm going to run over to one of, my, one of the older parks near my house. I've pulled some silver out here before, uh, 1962 silver dime and a couple of Wheaties. But that's about all I've ever got out of here besides a bunch of clad. But I don't mind getting clad, so we're just going to go down here for a couple hours, swing for a little bit, have a little bit of fun. And uh, we'll try to record as many hunts as possible, but it's a park. And uh, I see some of the city workers working out here, so I'll do the best I can. It's windy as all can be, guys, so I apologize that the audio is going to be terrible. But I'm at this old park here, and uh, my first signal was a dime signal. And uh, we got a 1991 dime, so... First find of the day, first hole dug of the day too, so that's that's always a good sign. Second hole is getting a penny signal and uh, we got one, 1983. We'll have to check it for the uh, double die reverse, but uh, for now, it goes in the pouch. Another target, another penny. 2000, we'll take it. I work in this area by the trees and the park bench and uh, got another dime guys, I already rubbed it, 1983, D, we'll take it, let's get back to the hunt. I was bouncing around between 84 and 86 and it was about 5 inches down, I thought it was going to be better than this but it's just a clad quarter, can't even get a year off it right now guys but it's a newer one, probably a state quarter. Oh well, we'll keep looking. Woohoo, penny spill. Another dime tone, another dime coming home. Had a nice 86 signal about five and a half inches down. You can see the imprint on the plug right there. We had a quarter. It was green when I first pulled it out and I thought it might be silver for a second, but uh, it's just a 1990. Oh well. It's a quarter though, so let's keep looking. Had another 86 tone, and uh, right here in the sidewall. It's another uh, quarter. I did, oh, I scratched it up pretty good, but it looks like it's a 1981 anyway. So we'll take it. I got another 86 tone here. No bueno. We got uh, a pipe and I'm not digging that out. I'm swinging the coal guys and uh, you don't get a better surface find than that. Huh. 1985, that's an easy quarter. All right guys, the rain's moving in. I'm a little tired now. Um, took my jacket off, I was getting a little hot. I'm out of water. But I figured I'd give you a look inside the pouch. We did find a pretty good amount of coins. I didn't record them all, but we had a, we had some fun. We had some fun for a couple hours. Let me go ahead and turn the camera around and we'll uh, look inside the pouch. I'll give you a wrap-up video here at the end as well. But let's take a look. All right, guys. You can see we got some, uh, we got some uh, clad and some good stuff in there, I guess, at the end of the day. I didn't find any anything really cool, um, but you know what? It's never a bad day getting some clad. Maybe there's a couple of bucks in here. We'll see. All right, guys, we pulled out the coins that we found from that little two-hour hunt. We had a lot of junk in here, too, and really dug a big piece of junk. I don't know why I dug it. I just I saw it, and I figured I would just remove it since it's a big piece of iron. But, yeah, your typical uh, trash, can pieces, bottle caps. You name it, no rings, nothing fancy in there at all. Just a bunch of trash. Good news is we did find uh, some coins. The oldest quarter was this 1965, really mangled, pretty significantly, so trashed. Um, we got 40 cents in dimes. The oldest dime was a 1985. Then we had a 91, a 15, and a 13. And uh, we had 10 pennies. A lot of zinc. We uh, actually had a copper one right here. Oldest of the bunch. 1973. So, 
kind of a fun hunt. We got $1.50 and some change. And uh, you know what? You're not always going to find silver or anything epic. Not where I live. But I wanted to get a second metal detecting video up to you guys. Show you that I am doing that. And um, we'll just keep doing these on the weekends if I can. Hopefully you enjoyed this hunt with me. I know it wasn't the greatest of finds. It's still a lot of fun for me. And I apologize again about the wind. Mother Nature's tough sometimes. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, guys. And as always, thanks for watching.